This student is determined to do well on the midterm coming up in a couple of weeks. She wants to pick a study method that is sure to help the information she is learning to stick. Which of these two study methods will help her ace that midterm? To do all of her studying in one big focus study session? Or for her to break up her studying across multiple study sessions over time? It turns out that multiple study sessions over time is a much more effective study method even if her total study time adds up to be the same as her one big study session. Well over a hundred years ago, psychologist Herman Ebbinghaus brought to light what is now referred to as the spacing effect, that breaking up learning across time leads to better learning. Since that time, many, many studies have verified the impact of spacing on learning. Let's take a look at just one of these studies. In a study by Bloom and Schwell, two groups of students were asked to learn 20 new French vocabulary words. Both groups studied for a total of 30 minutes. The first group did all of the 30 minutes of studying in one day, one single study session. The second group, however, divided their studying up across three days. One week later, both groups of students were given a surprise vocabulary test on the 20 words that they had learned. The first group that massed all of their studying into one single session averaged about 11 out of 20 words correct. The second group that spaced their studying across three days averaged about 15 words correct, reflecting a lot more learning than the first group. The thing is, the second group didn't spend any more time studying than the first group, not one minute more. Yet, spacing their studying really made a big difference in how much they remembered. So, we have all heard this before, cramming the night before a big exam, which is when most studying tends to happen, is not the best way to learn. This is not new. But why is it that spacing out learning is more effective than cramming? There are actually a number of different reasons. Let's take a look at three of them. Reason number one, that space learning better helps you learn than cramming. It creates opportunities for retrieval practice. If you haven't yet learned about retrieval practice, be sure you do. It is another top method for boosting your memory for what you have learned. Retrieval practice is simply the act of trying to remember what you have learned. You can't peek at your notes or the textbook when you do this. It relies on you strengthening your memory by working it. Anyway, space learning works because every time you return to your studying, you engage in retrieval practice because you recall what you learn in previous study sessions. The number two reason why space learning is more effective than cramming, it leads to more effective consolidation of memory, basically a fancy word for making memories more permanent, and to the organization of memory much of which occurs during sleep. Think about it. The more you space your learning across days, the more opportunities you have to sleep during that time. And the number three reason why space learning is more effective than cramming? New learning always, always, always depends on prior learning. Whenever we learn something new, we make sense of it by relating it to what we already know. Knowledge builds upon previous knowledge. For example, say you have three chapters worth of material to study. If you sit down and study all three chapters at once, you can't really benefit from prior learning. However, if you space out the chapters, Chapter 2's learning session will benefit from what you learned about Chapter 1. Chapter 3 learning session will benefit from what you learned about chapters 1 and 2, and so on. It's about building a solid foundation while you learn. It's kind of like laying down a brick wall. The structural soundness of the top layers is going to depend on how soundly laid the bottom layers are. So 
space learning does mean that you are going to have to plan out your study sessions in advance. But remember, these study sessions can be short because there are more of them. Also keep in mind that spacing isn't just for reading and reviewing course material. You can use spacing for big assignments. Instead of working on a big assignment from start to finish in one sitting, break it up into smaller parts across multiple days. You will undoubtedly do a better job if you space it out. Like what you have learned in this video? For more information on spacing and more ideas on how to do it, check out these resources.